Anyways, as I was saying, hi, I'm back. It's been a while and a wild um, couple of months. Uh, it's actually been, what, uh, nine months now? And yeah, I started a full-time job. I still don't know where to look for um, or to look at if I'm looking at myself or I'm looking at the camera, but I'm trying to get better at it, I promise. So. As you guys, as you got, I swear, I work in, I like, I speak English all day in the pharmacy, but I guess I get here and it's like, I don't know how to speak again. Anyways, I've been working on my cards. I have a couple of good ones, if I say so myself. Um, I'm really excited about them. It's a new collection. It's kind of like, um, it's not actually specific to some kind of occasion, but I do have two cards that are for um, little ones, 
for little one's birthdays. I have two for Mother Day and one just like a general just because card. Um, you guys will be able to see it in this vlog but I'm really excited about them. As usual I use Moo. I've always used Moo for my cards and I don't think I will ever change. Um, I love them. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, they're great. Anytime something happens to the cards, they're like, yep, we'll send you a new order. And they do, and they're great. And what else? There's a lot of updates on. My husband is working in the garage, so there's probably a lot of background. Well, yep. Anyways, let's get going with this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one, or I'll see you... I should say I talked to you. Let me show you the other side of my studio while we hang around in this beautiful place. So this is where you're sitting, so you were facing this way, and now when we turn that way, this is where the magic happens, haha. <laughs> this is where I paint and I have my creative time, and this is annoying so I will insert a voiceover maybe, but yeah, this is where I mainly paint and work on shop stuff. Our mail has been so bad, like the mail people I think it's just in my zip code. <laughs> every time I mail in my zip code, in my like local station, local post office, every time I send through them, it gets lost. <laughs> and then if I send it to the little town that I work in, it doesn't. So I'm like, ah. um, I should have probably avoid using them, but it's the weekend and I really had to send some all over there. Blah, 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 some orders today. So uh, yeah, they are just passing by right now. It is 4.30. They usually do my streets at like 9 a.m. <laughs> and I was expecting them to do Hi guys, it's my last week in this studio vlog and I just wanted to pop in to say thank you so much if you've watched this far. Really appreciate you being here and it is kind of a cliche but it's also true that every person even if you don't interact or comment with me it means so much that you're here. And if you are here I'd love for you to subscribe and um, hit like if you like this video. 
that really helps our channels grow and I'd love to chat so here I'm just putting the sticker sheet uh, not the sticker sheet the little sticker on my washi tape designs and it was a bit of a fail this is our a learning curve but um, I printed them on glossy paper it didn't work out well because the sticker the Cricut doesn't read the marks very well I'm s I'm very disappointed at Cricut but that's a whole new story um, but yeah I'm just sticking the round sticker on it it just makes it a lot more presentable and this yellow uh, washi tape is currently my most popular product on my shop I call it the drinking buddies it has a boba sticker not sticker I'm sorry it has a boba character and then two little juice packets and an orange juice and the, what's the other one it's a strawberry uh, like soda can um, I feel like I was in such a high with this shop update uh, this was a long time ago I'm so so late to post this video it's embarrassing it's almost the end of the year almost the end of 2021 um, I guess this year has not been easy on anyone and yeah things got a little off off track um, I was preparing for my spring shop update here and also my mother days cards and right now I'm all bundled up and my voice is nasal and here I'm only wearing a shirt I'm pretty sure it was nighttime so that's pretty fantastic I miss those days <laughs> I'm such a summer body but anyways getting off topic here as I continue sticking up the round sticker sheets on the washies I just wanted to touch on a little something um, that I've been meaning to mention which is if you're a small shop um, and you're trying to find your style don't stress about it like just create and while creating and releasing new products you will find your style I have not found my style yet I don't think so I think I'm still looking for it I'm st <laughs> still learning every day gosh I don't draw every day right now I wish I could but I don't have the time but anytime I start thinking about new products kind of creates this weird pressure where I don't know uh, what I'm gonna design and I feel obligated to to design something that's gonna sell so I guess my two cents for today is don't draw with the expectation to sell just draw what you like and then after you have a few designs design the products <laughs> so after you have a few drawings here and there and um, if you find they're kind of cohesive you can make something out of it um, this one is an example this is my second spring washi tape and it's just some cutesy flowers and some bees and um, if I remember correctly the bees come from a drawing challenge that I, I did a like a little drawing with bees um, saying you're beautiful and then the flowers come from a little doodle session that I had with myself on my iPad and I really enjoyed the colors so then I just started to put them together and see the end of the result. Um, sometimes I do create for the product though and that's totally fine too but I just feel like it's rare or it only happens after I'm in the moment like I'm zoned out just drawing for fun and then um, as I go to design a product and I want to design like a second one or something then I feel like the rush of doing that and then I do feel motivated then and inspired um, to create purposefully for the shop update or something I think I was trying to tell you guys that I was pretty tired by now but I guess I kept going um, here I'm organizing my palette sticker sheets and I currently have uh, I think four colors up on my shop but I have so many on my iPad that I haven't even printed out 
that's also something that happens to me like I have so many files that I end up not printing not really get something out of it just because I don't have the time it really frustrates me but I do what I can with the time that I have um, that's fine I guess I'm trying to also pep talk myself into being positive about what I've done this year which was not a lot for the show but considering that I didn't even want to focus on selling something that's pretty good like I did a few updates and I'm also very proud at the greeting card designs that I made this year so at the end of the year um, this is nice this feels nice to have achieved um, I'm not gonna say as much as I did because I don't feel like I achieved much but achieved what I achieved um, let's just put it like that it is really weird and unprofessional of me to be talking like this end of the year crap situation on a spring shop update that I filmed in April <laughs> but we're all gonna go with it and I feel like you'll be fine with it <laughs> you're all so nice to me um, so let me know if you have any questions about being small. I know this is weird because usually people have questions for like big shops, really famous and really successful. But uh, what if you have questions for small shops? If you do, let me know and I'll try to do my best to answer with uh, as much knowledge as I have, which is not much, but I try to learn something as I go and I really feel like I have learned a lot this year one thing i'm started doing for this shop update for example and i think i need to keep doing that is build up spreads with my products and have fun with them too because that shows how you can use them um, i actually feel like it's kind of dumb that i haven't done that before but it is what it is um, so yeah now i just create little spreads with my washes and stickers and it's pretty fun I try to mix in other artists and that also helps when you go to post a photo and tag them because they'll probably share your work too and, and your washi and your designs are there so that's a great way of like um, spreading the word about your shop but yeah I think I leave it to the good buys but um, again thank you for being here and for watching my videos and Check me out on Instagram at Full Bloom and Co. It's the same name, so it's pretty easy. All right, have a good one. Goodbye. Hi guys. Um, it's Saturday, June fifth, and I'm just um, working on my greeting cards. I've been. Um, organizing um, all the stock and doing an inventory I recently ran into a problem so I want to make sure I'm prepared for like when people buy that last card and I don't have it in stock <laughs> um, yeah I'm embarrassed by it but you know we ran into these issues and we learned from it but anyways um, I'm um, counting every card and taking this um, opportunity to also take new uh, photos and renew my um, do a little bit of a facelift to the shop um, and I would totally film this but I need my phone to both um, do the video and <laughs> take the photos so um, I check back with you and I'll see the status of I'll show you the status of my studio right now and <laughs> It's quite messy. I'm very low energy today. I'm sorry. It's probably noticeable, but it is what it is. I'm powering through. And yeah, let me show you the status, st status, status, whatever. So I'm taking advantage of this bright light. Um, it gets a quite nice, as you can see, like a quite nice vibrance without being too much. And I'm photographing. I'm starting with my Father's Day cards because I'm very late to the season, but that's the priority. I for sure want to update the photos today and share it to like Pinterest and do some 
nice um, pins with it and then um, there's a few more Father Day's, Father's Day cards over here and I'm changing the way I store my cards um, I have these little plastic boxes that I got from Michael's in clearance like ages ago and I didn't know what to do with them but now they fit perfectly um, these are Moo cards they are 6x4 they only fit without the um, envelope but uh, that's fine what I do when I get the cards in I um, bag some with envelopes so I have a few of them ready to go but then um, the remainder uh, will go into those little boxes so I always have like here, I have some here in the box already stored, but I also have some ready to grab and ready to go. And then I have all these to figure out. Um, some of these are really old, like these were my first greeting cards that I made. So I'm probably gonna run a summer sale on these. Anything that has been on my shop for more than a year and it's not selling, I'm gonna... Um, do a clearance and uh, to make sure that I sell everything. I need the space and I feel pretty, um, I don't know, I, I, I don't throw them away. I want to sell them. They're pretty, they're good, they look perfect, they don't have any problem with it. It's just that my shop was not as big or I didn't get much traction to those. But anyways, I'll probably do that my exams because I for sure don't have time for that now but I want to also add these to my shop there's a lot of summer babies out there so I want to make sure <laughs> I have these and these are my new love cards which I love I love the hand lettering it's mine for sure I don't want to um, just type something and then not be able to sell it because of royalty but this handwriting is mine so that's fine and this is also like really old Valentine's Day cards that I'm also gonna clearance because they've been on my shop for more than a year ago for more than a year so yeah watch out for that if you're into greeting cards I'll for sure let you know and I'm gonna store them all in these little IKEA boxes that we got for free at a garage um, clearance too yeah so that's what I'm doing now and this is like my study materials that I'm disregarding because work has been pretty stressful so I need my creative outlet <laughs> this weekend so yeah I'll talk to you soon bye bye it is the next day it's Sunday Tonight, I probably won't film those because I'll just be chilling out in the sofa probably. But yeah, this weekend is nice. Uh, we were just chilling at home. The weather has been really bad. I'm sorry about this annoying noise now.
washi strips which is three by two inches I think which is a pretty decent size for a sampler. I've got I've gotten samplers before from other stores. It wasn't as big so I think uh, maybe I'll even consider doing it a bit a bit smaller. We'll see. I wish I could figure out um, the dimensions for the Cricut um, canvas. I'm sure that information is somewhere on the internet, but I just haven't looked at it yet because then um, I would maximize the space in the sticker sheets. But for now, I'm gonna finish all these and I'm gonna find space for my stock and for my inventory because stresses me out a little bit. Um, I don't have a regular place where I just store all that stuff. So, okay, this is it for now. Um, yeah, I hope they sell well. I hope you guys like it. I think my favorite is the fruit ones, just because the color is a little brighter. But, yeah, let me know what you think. In the comments below. This is my little stash for now. See shops that have huge amount of washi tapes, but we're just not there yet, are we? <laughs> um, which is fine. I like where I'm at right now. And um, let's see if I can finish up um, putting the stickers away. And, and yeah, let me know. shop update. I'm gonna aim for the 25th of June or somewhere around that date. I'm still not quite sure if I'm gonna do it on a Friday or what but um, somewhere around the end of June and it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. I'll finish um, this vlog here and I'll show you on the next uh, vlog uh, my packing because I'm still working on my packing but I also love seeing other people get their orders so yeah, I'll definitely show you and it's all for now. Goodbye!